Hello, Happiness Abounder, and welcome back. So first things first, if you did notice a gap in episodes over the last week, it was because I was sick, had bronchitis, I still have a little bit of a cough, but not much of a voice during that time, and so I had to take a break. If you are an avid listener of the podcast and you do not follow me on social media, specifically Instagram at happiness underscore abound, then you were probably wondering what in the world was going on. So if that was you, be sure to go follow me at happiness underscore abound on Instagram or happiness abound blog on Facebook. That'll help you stay in the know, and there you go. That said, thank you to those of you who reached out to wish me well and to tell me to get better ASAP. I really appreciate it and I'm super excited to be back on the podcast today, continuing our theme week of episodes, our theme set of five episodes all about progress over perfection. So that said, today I want to talk about the ability to take action and this phrase that although I sometimes say it sarcastically, and we all know sarcasm is not my favorite thing, but sometimes I say it sarcastically, but there is a phrase that I think has helped me so much in overcoming my perfectionism. And that is good enough for government work. And I know that's like funny and I'm not trying to put down government workers and say that you don't do complete jobs or you don't work hard. I know that you do. But I heard this phrase once when I was younger and it stuck with me. And the mindset that I have around it is that the government, as functional as it is, there are a lot of gaps. It's never perfect, but it functions, right? And that's what's really helped me overcome perfectionism. When I do a project and I'm like, oh, there's so many little things that I could just tweak slightly to improve and tweak slightly, I will say, you know what? It's good enough for government work. And then I will get it done, it will go live, and then I can tweak based on actual knowledge of what needs to tweak, not my mindset of perfectionism. Now, if that phrase doesn't resonate with you, another one that I really love is fun is done. Meaning, or done is fun, right? You can kind of rotate that. But meaning that when it's done, it's fun. The longer you sit on something, the longer you wait on something because it needs to be perfect, the less fun it becomes and the less fun it is to actually push it live. And I'm going to go as far to say this, <clears throat> excuse me. In today's world, things move at such a rapid, rapid pace that something that was perfect a week ago could not be perfect today. I want you to think about that and let that sink in. Something that was perfect a week ago could not be perfect today. Meaning, there has to be constant iteration, constant innovation, constant progress over perfection because perfection is a myth but we tend to tell ourselves that we need to be perfect or that this needs to be perfect granted yes check for those typos make sure your numbers add up do the detail work I'm not saying to not do detailed work what I'm saying is is that moment when you do the work and you're like this is pretty good and then your brain comes in and says oh but it could be better and we could do this and we could do this that's when I want you to look at progress over perfection. That's when I want you to say, done is fun, good enough for government work, I'm hitting send, knowing that I will be able to make iterations and better and further progress as this continues forward. The other thing about progress over perfection that I see in my day-to-day -day world, in my day job, is that oftentimes I will put something together and think that, oh, yep, this is it. This is the final version. I will send to someone else and they will come back and say, what if we did this, this, and this? Now, when I have a perfectionist mindset, I close off to those ideas and those innovations that build progress. Instead of being open to them and saying, absolutely, this is never going to be a final draft. It's always going to be a work in progress. It's going to be a living, breathing document, whatever it is. And so, yes, that's a great idea. Let's see if we can put that in. When we think in terms of perfectionism and things having to be perfect, we shut ourselves off to new ideas, to new opportunities, to new avenues. We shut ourselves off to progress. Now I've been using a lot of like work type of mentality things 
But this is the same in our life. And I'm going to use working out as an example here. How many times has it been where you want to, you want to be healthier? So you go and you buy the perfect pair of running shoes, custom fitted for your feet, and you go buy the treadmill or the workout equipment, or you go get that gym membership, and you line everything up perfectly, and you only go a few times and then it falls to the wayside. And then when it falls to the wayside, you think, ah, oh, I've messed up, I've missed. It's not perfect score anymore. It's not perfect, not missed a day. And then your brain goes, well, you're not perfect. You might as well just give up. And six months goes by before you go through the cycle all over again. Does that sound familiar to anybody? I know it's really familiar to me before I adopted this progress over perfection mindset. And some of you may have heard me talk about this before, but I really like to lean into the VIP. Or sorry, whoo, don't even know my acronyms today. The MVP, <laughs> which is Minimum Viable Product. What's the minimum viable product to get out there, to get the job done, and then how do we reiterate and innovate from there? So in terms of working out, what's the minimum viable product? What is the MVP? Maybe I do need new shoes and maybe a few workout clothes, but they don't have to be like the most gorgeous things in the whole world and all matchy matchy. I just can put on a t-shirt, some sweats and a pair of walking shoes. I need to get out and walk. Now here's the other thing. In your mind, maybe perfection is walking outside, but then it gets cold or it rains. Walk inside, turn on a TV show and for 20 minutes, walk around and watch that TV show while you're walking. Listen to a podcast for 10 minutes and walk while you do that. It does not have to be outside. The point is, what's the minimum viable product? The minimum viable product is that you are moving your body in terms to feel healthier. That's it. You don't need the fancy equipment. You don't need the gym membership. You don't need all these additional things that embrace this perfection and mindset. You just need to have progress. And here's the thing, when you have progress, your brain builds evidence that you can do it. When you aim for perfection and then you fall short, your brain builds evidence that you can't do it and you're less inclined and less motivated to try it again the next time around. So I really want us to lean into, take action, lean into the minimum viable product. Progress over perfection, done is fun and it can be good enough for government work. Our entire system of government functions on work that maybe is not the most perfectionist type of thing, but it's good enough to get us by and it's good enough to be reiterated. So like I said, while I say good enough for government work in sometimes a sarcastic way, it's important to note that sometimes you need to have a little fun and realize that done is fun, that progress over perfection will win every single time. And then if you work towards a minimum viable product, you will begin to see results. So I'm going to leave you with that today. I want to encourage you to take action. I want, you to, I want to encourage you to take a look at your life and where you are looking at perfection and aiming for perfection versus progress. I'm not saying don't aim high, but I'm saying aim in a way that is achievable to achieve those high goals. Don't think it's going to be perfect out of the gate and then let that discourage you. Don't do that. Instead, work towards your MVP. Fun is done and take action. So that said, I hope that you are able to do that. If this episode resonated with you, please let me know. Leave a review on iTunes or on Facebook. You can find iTunes by looking at Happiness Abound. And you can look at Facebook at Happiness Abound blog and leave a review there. Let me know how you like this episode or how you like the podcast in general. It can help other people find the show and join our Happiness Abound community. So that said, have a wonderful day. Take action. And remember, you are capable of Happiness Abound.